don't even have to script or write uh -huh. This shit is other niggas kryptonite Ooh. I'm spilling blood and no I am not a kryptonite Just listen when I spit I just like to fight And if it's not violence Then it's when I'm spitting on the mic exciting I'm like Mike and I'm like Reed when he's on the fucking mic It's exciting I'm like then Damn let's just recite this I'm I got my and 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 like learning from this guy, he may be younger than me, but he was one of the first people that I seen that actually was learning things that I wanted to learn. But then I ran into Teach also, and I learned a lot. And it made me want to open up a business where um, I do my merch, I do my music too, and I build a foundation for kids. Like that's what I want out of it. I want new generation worldwide to be something worldwide for the new generation like i got children so it's it's very important to know that we teaching especially with music is it can manipulate the mind mm. so if you're not giving your truth or you giving not giving a good message though it's like there's no point to really making music bro i'm not talking just to say this shit. like i'm i'm talking I don't care if I get a dollar off this shit, because I know I'm going to get a dollar, but I don't think about it. I just think about the message I want to spread across to let a kid know you can be 24, own the business, and take care of your kid, but you can still look for it to people. That don't mean that you it, like that, that you really poor, though. That's a mindset. Yes. I think I see some, I can't tell if it's questions in the live for you, or what it is, but I see a lot. No, it's all me. Oh, that's all you? Okay, that's I wasn't sure. I was gonna do that. Let's see what's going on. It's gonna stop you and me for a I just set up the scene. Oh. So, give me and the world at least two reasons on why this should come to show up on Monday. Um, Other than the fact that you're gonna blow everybody's mind, because that's just, the, like, that's inevitable. I say this. The first, this will be the first show where. Man, don't do that to me, man. <laughs> Personally, I do not like the song. I think that there's something like to be said about the passion that you put into something. And maybe that's just. I'm focused, I'm truly focused on entertaining the crowd. Like I want the crowd to be entertained. So that's my main focus. And another thing is, it's for this nigga, like for real. He he working his ass off for me, bro. Like that shit really matters. Y'all you know, see me, but this TJ got damn it. Oh shit, Mr. Newport's a new for real. Shake bitch ass nigga. That nigga, that nigga like, bro. Do you want stuff in TJ? Nah, nah, nah you don't deserve it. <laughs> what? That is a bold ass <laughs> lie. I don't want to ever hear that treachery uh, <laughs> ever again. Yeah, but he, he, a, he a real one, man. Cause like, you know, you gotta be really, you gotta be really real to want to invest in a person. That's why I said when he sent me them beats <laughs> on that email, I said, oh shit, this a real nigga. Mm. I did never have a song. He just heard me speak about my life and said, oh, I trust him. And it been it been six almost six years that I know this man, bro. So it's like same thing with Teach. When when like we talked about it, he told me the idea. I gave I was able to give my feedback like you said earlier. Like I gave my my feedback, and he was like, "Shit, I'm with." It. And like this shit now, this is further than I thought I was even gonna get. We I didn't I thought about this shit. I talked about it. It's happening. But That's it's how like, the universe works. Manifestation. Facts, but sometimes you can think to yourself and be like, my life fucked up right now. That shit not possible. But it is. It's just about the time and effort you put into it. And like, like I said, I think my balance just came through with trusting certain people, but just trusting myself. Like I really trust like I really trust you. Trust you. 
I'm getting to know you. I trust you because you let me into your home. Yeah. You really let me into your home, bro. You know, I focus on those things. It's like this. Nah, I see that, bro. I focus on those things because they, they matter. So, like, that's why people should show up to the show up because a person like me is performing. You feel me? Everybody can't perform there. Everybody can't be the headline. And it's okay. Maybe it'll be an opener. And that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not like a joking yeah. thing, shit, we was openers yeah, for people, exactly. but we was closers for people, and that was the coolest part, and it was only like four niggas standing there while we closing the show, think about that, <clears throat> we closing the show, and it was four people standing there, so one day when we closing the show, it's gonna be 50 million people standing on the crowd, so it's like, you know, that's why you should show up to the show, because a person like me is, is going to be there performing, telling my story about the people that's going to be in the crowd. So if you're like a new person, and then you see, oh shit, that person sitting there, that person sitting there, I see him on Instagram. You, you telling me if that don't make sense? You get to go see <laughs> an artist. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we still want to make sure that your message gets heard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why I was telling them, like, I appreciate that because it's like, I understand better off of that now. So thank you. But I was telling them the same shit, like, you know, um, I get a chance to look at y'all perform while I'm performing because I'm still a fan, too. I'm still spectating. Like I said, like, I can't sit, I can't get the, it's cool. I'm, I can't get the pleasure of literally watching myself perform, bro, I would love to see myself perform. Mm -hmm. Like, that's some, imagine if you really get to see yourself perform after you really feel good, like, I killed that shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I be wanting that feeling, so when it's like people that's on that same vibe with me and like we're working together and they really feel that shit, I'm, I wanna watch that shit to see what that shit looks like then. So I know like, if y'all giving this effort in rehearsal, imagine when we on the stage with like, this shit really gonna sound like, so that energy gonna hit me and it's gonna hit you guys back off the way I'm performing and like I said so to them like everybody energy is gonna turn up at one time during one song and it's gonna change everything it's just about the move like it's cool that y'all help me like you know get a better idea of how to like tell this the story that I want to and like you know it's I know, of, like, you know, the crowd favorites. Uh, yeah, that, they can. Like, for real. I say this, too, man. Um, the, the band is the focus, right? Because they're making the sound. The person that's going to be performing, you focus on that, too, at the same time. So when you hear the songs that I'm gonna be playing, you gonna hear the my my bad. You wanna hear the songs that the band gonna be playing, but you gonna hear the words come from me. The vibe is gonna make sense. So if you think your favorite song is gonna be played, come through. If you know that I'm just gonna speak some real shit, come through. If you wanna hear the band kill one of your favorite instrumentals that we done made come through it's like that's why you should show up because you get in the, you said the that was what the you know yeah, it's like the you got i want to start this drawing so you this could be right i could have missed right. the whole thing so i feel like dreams was that that one lot like I, um, I did catch that first it's first just the story week. about like, like, like a person like that's that that's been through shit but ain't giving up because of the circumstance for a fact that it's going to work so i i appreciate like um you telling me like my input matters I really do. Mm -hmm. The input always matters. Never forget that. Never forget that. It is so, so easy to forget that your voice matters. I am just reminding myself at 25, about to be 26 years old, mm -hmm. that my voice matters. It's like, it's never going to stop being a lesson that you... One lesson that I always remember in life is remain teachable period your voice matters you always teach yourself that lesson whenever you feel like you do period
Thank you, I needed that. It gets harder than that time because this, like these moments like this, they feel like they gonna last forever until some shit happens and it's like, damn, I wish I was back when I was feeling good like that. And it's like, that's that's why moments matter to me. Like, like I said, that moment in my head, I already dreamed of us killing the stage. So that's where my mind is set on when it comes to rehearsing and making sure I communicate with you guys because on the fifth, the shit that I already seen in my head, I'm gonna see it in real life. So that, that gives you the, the feeling like, oh shit, I'm living my dream right now. So everything, that's why like I try to stay positive about myself, just thinking about myself in good ways because that's what we lose focus on on a day-to-day -day basis is just telling yourself like, yo, you look good, you happy, you not other people. That was a good one. So it's like, you know, it's incredible to be us, to be in this moment because, bro, so I just had to talk. Somebody's going to die tonight, but we going to get home and we going to be safe. God has plans like that for people like us. That's that's what I really, I think about that shit because I have my children. You feel me? I'm not in survival mode 24-7 because I don't need to be like that here. I'm in music mode. I'm in that mode where God said, yo, you can speak freely, freely here <laughs> and nobody's about to judge me. That's that's where they, they, that's the surroundings that you need to be in because you can't walk in there in a room and say, yo, I hate myself. And people would say, yo, I hate myself too, but I love you and I'll help you and you can help me. Oh, my bad, you said you, you can't do that everywhere. You can't even do that in some households. Your parents will call you crazy when you say you help, you hate yourself. Baby. They talking bad. In the school, they teaching good as a stand. And if I was making it class, like what it mean? And every day would take me to places I've never seen. I'm going to be the doors to my father and dreams. Everything is cool, they teach me good as a swing. And if I was a part of it a while ago, and every day would take me to places I've never seen. I'm going to be the doors to my father I just need your help. So, you know, I, I focus on the positives in my life. And, like, these moments, they matter to me because... This is the story I'm gonna tell my kids. Yo, this moment helped me learn some shit like this today. So uh, I just appreciate uh, y'all coming through today. And then like, you know, even like we about to jam out together, like that moment gonna last forever because it's gonna be documented in our minds. Mm -hmm. No matter where we go in life, this moment is always gonna matter. It's always there. So I pay attention to shit like that, bro. It's off a hundred chasing, he just a motor, he took a place and he got the body in his eyes, I'm the one that's on the bravest. Damn, I get you hate off the shit that I create. Niggas never make the food, but want to eat up on your plate. Keep it real, I'll never fake. Mama told me life's a game of chess, so push up all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you're going through, make you follow your dreams. Everything is cool, they teach you that it's a scam. Remember, I'm a scam. Smoking on this weed, did I roll it? I gotta find a lighter. All these pockets, I can't find a lighter. Lighters in the left pocket where I always put it. I always think first and never think to do it. You know how it is. You second guess yourself, it's fucked up. Making tests and passing them, then you know what it is. I'm taking bags and passing them, you know how it is. I don't need a lie, I spit the shit from my lips Okay, and that's the way that I live I've been a kid growing up, pushing some kids Yeah I'm dangerous cause I really get into the shit Yeah Yeah, come to Philly and I tell these niggas just how I live Yeah Uh-huh See, yeah, just how we live Yeah you can see how we live, you can see how we live, All yeah. Right. Take a pick, take a pick. I stay, I stay one strap like a duffel bag. You know how it is, how I have. With a very special guest, Reason Can Rap.
Welcome to the Freestyle Fridays. <laughs> Trying to feel like Oprah for a second. I want to be the, I want to be the male Oprah eventually, but I don't think that shit will ever work. What's up, everybody coming in? Welcome to Freestyle Friday. We have a very special edition today because not only is Reason with us for Freestyle Friday, but he is with us because we're rehearsing for this Monday, which just happens to be to be to be the motherfucking show up for the those people. Show up. And it also happens to be my motherfucking 25th birthday. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Gang shit. I'm old. Had an existential crisis. <laughs> Not that old. It's a quarter century. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's a quarter life crisis. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had my quarter life crisis when I was 20. I was walking home. I had just bought a Wii U. Like, that, that man is fucking That fucking a, um, <laughs> had no games on it. And I was just like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so reason, tell the people who are on the line a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you from? I'm from North Philadelphia. Um, More than ready. More than ready. <laughs> I just. <thought. laughs> um, I'm 25. Born in 1996. I'm a father of two little girls, Skylar and Una. One's three and one's three months. She'll be four months this week. So that's a blessing. Congratulations. On the sir. fifth too. Hey. <laughs> like, that's the funny part about it. So. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of good things. He yeah, acting like a vegetable that you can turn up. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me you got the guitar. You got the vocals. See, I'm on the keys. Ain't no joke. Any notice? Stay focused. 